All right then, gang, so we've created two different skeleton components now, one for the articles and one for the user details, but they're not fully styled yet. I also want to be able to add a little background behind each one, and I want to allow the user to choose whether that background should be light or dark, so essentially giving them a choice of theme, a dark or light theme. So what we're going to do is allow the user to pass in as a prop to either skeleton article or skeleton profile a theme and that theme is going to either be light or dark. So let's start with skeleton article. We'll destructure the theme from the props and then what we want to do is set that theme and apply that theme to this class right here. So what I'm going to do is say const and then theme class is equal to whatever theme is passed in but if they don't pass in a theme we're going to apply a default value by using logical or and say the default one is light for example okay so if they pass in a theme which is dark then it's going to override that and the theme class will become dark if they don't pass one in then the default is going to be light or you could have the default to be dark and if they pass in light then it's going to override that right here okay either way we want to add this theme class now to the skeleton wrapper so instead of using double quotes right here i'm going to use template strings instead and what we need to do is place those inside curly braces because this is dynamic so we have the skeleton wrapper class but we also now want the theme class so let's output that theme class like so and that's it so i'm going to also do the same thing for the skeleton profile so let me open that up and paste that up here like so we also want to destructure the theme from the props and we want to also grab this right here for the class name so we can output it like so okay so now each one of these divs has a class of skeleton wrapper and a class of either light or dark okay so we can style those now let me save them both inside this css file so let me do a comment to say themes like so and then first of all i want to say skeleton hyphen wrapper that's these divs remember that also have a theme class as well and i want to say dot light to style the light theme so if it has a class of light then we're going to give this a background which is going to be a really light gray f2 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 right now i'm going to do the same thing but for dark this time and skeleton hyphen wrapper dot dark is going to have a background of 444 four, four, which is a dark gray and spell this correctly background all right now i also want to make the individual skeleton components inside this one darker as well so if i go into the skeleton element this div right here this by default is this light gray over here now if they choose a dark theme i want that to be a darker gray so I'm gonna say down here skeleton hyphen wrapper dot dark and then grab the individual skeleton div which is the same as this thing up here that's currently colored light gray and I want to say the background is this time gonna be 777 which is a slightly darker gray okay so if we save this and preview then nothing should change because by oh well it does change we get a background now of this kind of light gray now if i just refresh that again it looks quite harsh on the corner so i'm going to give this a border radius and that is the skeleton wrapper so this thing right here i'm going to give a border hyphen radius of four pixels save that again and refresh and that looks a bit better a bit softer okay so that's the default light theme right and it looks good but i could now override that if i go into articles I could say down here I want to pass in a theme prop and that is going to be dark instead so if I save this now we can see this is a dark theme and I could do the same for the profile skeleton profile oops going to user rather and right here we can say the theme if I can spell is going to be dark save that and now we get a dark theme for this and again I could either leave this off completely to get the light theme or pass it in explicitly so we can see what theme it is in the code oops let me save that and now we can see we get the light theme all right 
So there we go. Now we can choose the different themes of these different skeleton components and you can add more themes as well if you wanted like primary, secondary, warning, whatever you wanted to, much like Bootstrap does or some other CSS framework. It's really reusable. All you need to do is create classes for those themes. So there's one thing left I want to do and that is to create some kind of shimmer or sheen animation effect on these things right here that you sometimes see on other skeleton screens like on LinkedIn or Facebook and it just finishes it off. So we'll do that in the next video.